Hi there, Caffeine and Pixie Dust. I've met a lot of really cool people today and it'd be great if you could stop by too. And remember, keep aiming higher, further, faster. Hope to see you around. Duty calls. Hello and welcome back to Caffeine and Pixie Dust. I hope this finds you well. So today I'm filming a slightly different type of video. This isn't so much Disney planning as Disney living because obviously recently our way of life has changed in a very, very big way and in a very short amount of time. And I feel we're all kind of still finding our feet and getting used to the new routine, the new rhythm. And of course we can't dash off to Disneyland Paris and hop on our favorite rides to put a smile on our faces. But what I thought I'd do in this video is share with you my top tips on how to add some Disney magic to your day-to-day -day life. So if, you're, if you feel your routine is missing that bit of Disney, in this video you'll find everything to add a little smattering of pixie dust to put a smile on your face and a skip in your step. Now like so many of you, we also recently had our Disneyland Paris holiday cancelled. This was our family trip and it had been one that had been planned for a very long time and our Disney countdown was getting really, really small. So we're obviously very disappointed but we also totally understand that everybody's health, safety and well-being is paramount and hopefully we'll be dashing down Main Street USA wearing our favourite ears, eating our favourite Disney snacks before we know it. So this is why I started putting all these little treats and extras into our day to keep that kind of Disney feeling going, that Disney momentum, because we did feel a little bit blue once the cancellation was confirmed, but this Disney magic will keep us going. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is of course those Disney snacks. When we're at Disneyland Paris, I always make a beeline for the snack carts and I buy the Mickey Mouse waffle and the little Disneyland Paris hot chocolate. They are the perfect mix of sweetness, that hot pancakey waffle and the rich hot chocolate will give you the energy to dash around the parks and have all sorts of fun. Now, unfortunately, I haven't got one of those Mickey Mouse, that's me doing the waffle action, by the way, Mickey Mouse waffle irons, the machines. I really, really wish I did, but I don't think they do them in the UK. If you know that they do, please do let me know in the comments below because I might just have to get one to add a bit more Disney magic to our day-to-day -day life. But for the moment, I'm just popping waffles in the toaster, um, not frozen ones, mine, fresh ones, and then toasting them up and making some cocoa for a nice, quick, tasty breakfast. And the aromas and the scents of hot toasted waffles and cocoa drifting through the house is the perfect way to start your Saturday morning, or any other morning really, because it just smells of Disney and tastes of Disney and is practically perfect. So, speaking of Disney scents, if you've watched the other videos on my channel, you'll know that I love I love Disney home fragrance. I love home fragrance anyway. I'm kind of a scented wax girl more than a candle girl, though I've got a candle going right here, because I just love filling the house with a beautiful scent, a sort of fresh fruity scent, something that's welcoming and inviting, something that makes the room smell lovely and puts a smile on my face. Now, if I could combine that love of home fragrance with my other love, which is Disney, I'm a very happy girl indeed which is why I created the um, Sense of Disney playlist if you'd like to go and have a peek. It's kind of review videos of lots and lots of Disney inspired scents and fragrances and it's kind of a way to hopefully track down all those scents that we love from Disneyland Paris. In fact, right now I've got one of my favourite candles. This is one of my favourite Disney candles. It's not actually Disney, it's by Yankee Candle and it's called Fireside Treats. Now, really sadly, I don't think you can get this anymore. I don't think they make it or sell it anymore. Again, if I'm wrong, please do let me know in the comments below because I will be buying more. Because to me, that smells just like the Discovery Arcade as you enter the parks. It's a kind of marshmallow, gooey kind of cocoa smell. It's beautiful. I'm really enjoying having it burning at the moment. And I must admit, every evening at the moment, I'm burning that because it's just adding that kind of Disney vibe to our evenings. But for the most part, I am just whacking those Disney scent melts in into my warmers all around the house, whether it's a lovely pepperminty kind of frozen inspired Arendelle style scent or that kind of Main Street bakery scent. It puts a smile on my face, the whole family enjoys them and it makes the house smell lovely, so there's nothing wrong with that. So the next thing is all about being comfy. Now we all have those outfits, perhaps a spirit jersey, perhaps a particular hoodie that we wear when we are en route to a Disney park that we want to be cosy and comfy in. Maybe if we're hopping on the Eurostar and we want to kind of bundle up and be cosy. Now is the perfect time to wear those outfits. 
granted you might not be dashing off to a Disney park, but it certainly puts a smile on your face to wear your spirit jersey around the house to represent your favourite park, maybe that big comfy Disney hoodie, something like that. And I think reaching for that from your wardrobe when you're maybe working from home, studying from home, will put a smile on your face and will remind you of your Disney adventures. So now is the time to get cosy, get comfy, enjoy that loungewear, adapt to that kind of cosy way of life, even though it's getting sunnier by the day, and just make the most of all your comfy Disney themed clothes. Now kind of staying on theme with that comfy loungewear, something I've been really enjoying recently is choosing and selecting some lovely custom pieces, some hoodies and jumpers from some small shops online. This is a really nice thing to do because it's a nice thing to sort of be able to look forward to some magic mail that will be left safely on your doorstep obviously um, and know that it's coming and it will also add some Disney magic to your day and also if it's a small company you're buying from it will help them as well. So if you have a small shop that's still happy sending items out and if it's within your budget maybe treat yourself, have a look online, see if you could maybe get that jump you've always had your eye on because now is that time to enjoy the little things in life, add some Disney magic to your day and also also support others as well. So the other thing I'd say is in the UK recently we have had Disney Plus launch. Thank goodness, <laughs> thank goodness for Disney Plus. When our Disney holiday was cancelled I very subtly scrubbed it out of the calendar and added on the Disney Plus launch day instead and it was something for us to look forward to, to count down the days to and it felt like a real event in our household as well. Now because we're kind of working from home, studying from home, all those good things, we are not watching this during the day and as a result it's actually something we all really look forward to in the evenings. So we choose what we're going to watch, we set it up as a movie night, we light the favourite Disney candles and we actually make an occasion of it and as a result it's been really really nice. Um, the things that we've been watching so far, um, now first of all just before the launch of Disney Plus UK actually I re-watched the Star Wars films in order for me which is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, I didn't re-watch the prequels, don't judge me, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just watched the ones I wanted to watch again. Um, we've been really enjoying getting stuck into The Mandalorian as well. Oh my goodness, it's so, so good. But it's always over so, so quickly. And also, we really want to binge watch it, and at the moment, obviously, we're having to wait for it to come on each week. Which is nice, because it's something to look forward to, and it builds anticipation. But, you know, sometimes you just want to know what happens next. But no, we're enjoying that. Also, I really enjoyed watching One Day. I found that a really kind of, oh, it was really fascinating, really interesting to find out all that information. So I definitely recommend One Day if you haven't seen that yet. And then next up, the Imagineering series. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I have so so enjoyed that. So I have watched episodes one, two, and then recently I watched episode three. Episode three had all sorts, I'm not gonna give spoilers, but let's just say if you're a Disneyland Paris fan, you'll enjoy episode three. It was really, really lovely. I looked forward to it and it was lovely to sit down, put my feet up and kind of just get lost in that Disney bubble. So yeah, Imagineering is amazing. Also dec decorating Disney at Christmas. I know it's April, <laughs> I'm aware of this. I know we shouldn't be feeling festive, but it is amazing to see all the work that goes into creating the Christmas season. So yeah, that was really, really interesting. I definitely recommend that. And also we've been discovering Disney nature. This is something that we kind of have known about previously, but really been enjoying getting stuck into it. Um, we just watched Dolphin Bay, which was really good. I recommend that one. And it was nice to watch because even though there were kind of some moments that were a bit, <gasps> you know it was gonna end nicely because it was Disney. So yeah, Dolphin Bay is a good one. But generally it's just been really nice to kind of know that we've got that bank of movies, documentaries, series to catch up on if we want to. I think something I would like to do is actually go back and really start with the OGs and work my way through all the classics. Maybe kind of in relation to when they actually were released, that would be interesting. Are you guys doing that? Have you been enjoying Disney Plus? If there's something you've been really enjoying watching that I haven't mentioned, please do again, pop it in the comments below because I think it's lovely to kind of share ideas and recommendations because there's so much to choose from on there. Sometimes it's a bit hard to see the wood for the trees, if you see what I mean. So yes, please do share any recommendations below because that would be wonderful. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about are those Disney treasures. Now, if you're anything like me, when you stay at a Disney hotel, you might just bring home the little treasures, <laughs> such as the shampoos, the conditioners, and the soaps. This one is a Toy Story one from the Cheyenne Hotel that we got on our last trip, um, and I brought it home, and it's lovely. And these are the Disneyland Hotel slippers. Now, why am I waving around a small shampoo bottle, some slippers, 
and a glowing ice cube you might ask. This is because these are all little treasures that I bought back, little mementos from Disneyland Paris. And sometimes, like having those lovely candles that you should just light and enjoy, sometimes having those mementos, you should use them, you should enjoy them. So maybe if you've got some little smellies from Disneyland Paris, pop them next to your shower, next to your bath, use them, enjoy them, enjoy seeing them there because seeing them there will actually put a smile on your face and remind you of happy times. Same goes for the slippers, if you have anything like this, it would be really nice, I imagine. These are too big for me, these ones, I've got the wrong ones for the video. To actually have these to slip on after a shower or bath or just in the mornings and just again, maybe pretend you're at the Disneyland Hotel again or just enjoy being cosy around the house. And last but not least, when I am snuggled up enjoying Imagineering on a Friday night, you know I'm gonna add this glowing ice cube to my tipple of choice. Again, it just adds a bit of Disney sparkle, will remind you of those Disney adventures, and it's got a hidden Mickey on it. I don't know if you can see it actually because it's so, so bright, but trust me, it is glowing. And it glows loads of different colors as well. So yes, sometimes it's about those little things, little details, little Disney details, just to add a bit of sparkle to your day. Now, something I love to do when we're getting ready for our next Disneyland Paris adventure is listen to my favorite Disney songs. I'll put together a playlist of all my favorite Disney tunes from old films, or rather should we call them classic films, up to more recent movies, maybe um, music that I've heard in and around the parks, and I'll have that playlist and I will listen to it when I'm doing the housework, when I'm hoovering, all that kind of glamorous stuff. And even though we are not getting ready for our next Disneyland Paris adventure just yet, I still think it's a good excuse to have that music blaring out, not too loud for the neighbours obviously, but maybe pop them in with your headphones while you're hoovering, while you're doing the laundry, something like that, something quite mundane, and just escape into kind of that Disney experience because it will no doubt bring back happy memories. And maybe listening to those Disney songs will also inspire you about what to watch next on Disney Plus, which is always good. Now, obviously we're all getting used to this new routine, this new kind of way of life at the moment but whether you're working from home, studying from home, running around with the kids at home, I think it's really important to take a bit of time each day to just take a breath, relax and just kind of zone out a little bit. So you will know based on your schedule when this time would be. It might be at the end of the afternoon, before the evening or actually during the evening but I think it's important to kind of carve out a bit of time where you can relax and just zone out and be a bit mindful. Now there's lots of activities that you can do that can really help with this and kind of help you relax but while still kind of doing something to keep your mind occupied, it can just help you zone out a little bit. So this might be something like colouring in, drawing, painting, crochet, sewing, anything at all, any sort of crafting activities, but it will allow you to actually have that designated time each day where you relax and do something that you want to do. Now of course you can add a Disney twist to this because there are lots and lots of colouring in images you can find online, maybe some patterns that you can kind of follow if you want to do some knitting, anything like that, any sewing, any crochet. So do have a look online. This might be the perfect time as well to try that craft that you've always been curious about maybe make your own Disney ears. This could be the perfect time because we have lots of time. So if you can easily get hold of the bits and pieces you need, maybe online deliveries, this might be the perfect opportunity to just pause and let yourself have a go at things because you know we do have the time and it could be really exciting. You might discover a whole new passion for a craft that you haven't had time to do before. Now if you're not particularly crafty but you still want to do something that's kind of allows you to zone out a bit, then a puzzle is a really good thing to do as well. We have a few thousand piece Disney puzzles and they do take some time. We tried to do one at Christmas, but at the moment we've got a great big panoramic one spread across the uh, coffee table and it's taken a while. We've got the frame done, but we're yet to fill in the middle. But it's a really nice thing to do that the family can kind of chip into as and when they've got five minutes or when they just kind of want to do something quiet and something calm and something that doesn't involve a screen as well. So maybe have a look in your sort of cupboard, see if you've got any puzzles that you can do. If not, there are loads and loads of Disney puzzles online and the thousand piece ones or higher will definitely pass the time. Now something I am going to try myself that I haven't really tried yet is I'm going to try playing Disneyland Adventure. I have played this briefly. What I did play, I really, really enjoyed. I got to meet Donald Duck straight away, of course. Um, but no, it was good fun. It's based on the Disneyland Park, so you can kind of feel your way around the original Disney Park. I think it's really nice to kind of see everything laid out as it is and just kind of experience that park atmosphere, albeit virtually. And I hear that you can actually use it on VR as well. We haven't got VR, so I shall be doing it on PC. But um, no, I'm looking forward to having a go. I think I'm the only one in the house who is not a gamer. 
I confess, but I'm gonna have a go because if anything is gonna get me onto a video game, it's gonna be something Disney themed. So watch this space, but no, I am gonna give that a go. Now going on back to those Disney snacks, now is the perfect time as well to maybe try your hand at baking. I've seen lots and lots of friends online having a go at recreating their favorite Disney snacks. Again, I just put mine in the toaster, but never say never, I might have a go at doing some kind of big Mickey head cookies or something like that. But no, now is the time. Think about your favorite park snacks. Maybe it's the crispy treats, maybe it's the cookies, maybe it's the cupcakes. But no, now is the time to have a go and make some delicious treats because then you've got something to cozy up with and enjoy while you're watching your favorite Disney movie in the evening. So something that I think is really nice to do is to take a bit of a stroll down memory lane. So if you're feeling a little bit blue or you're missing that Disneyland Paris castle view, I know I am, having a look through some memories, some photos, maybe if you've got photo albums full of photos or a phone full of photos like me, <laughs> you can scroll through. Sit down with your photo albums or your phone, make yourself a nice big cup of tea or coffee in your favorite Disney mug of course, and just take a moment to look back over those adventures, over those happy memories, and kind of relive them a little bit. Maybe share them with friends and family, keep that conversation going, keep that magic going, and hopefully, before we know it, we'll be back in the parks, but until then, you'll have all those memories to look back on. So that's something I definitely do, is just to kind of look at the photos, look at any footage you might have taken, and just kind of relive those memories to put a smile on your face. So something else that's quite nice to do is to put together a Disney wish list or bucket list. So maybe if your holiday has been cancelled or delayed or you're not sure when and if you're going to be going, it's kind of still a bit up in the air, something that's nice to do is just sit down, take a moment, have a pause and put together like your Disney bucket list. So this will be like a wish list of your attractions you want to jump on that you haven't had a go on before, maybe the characters you want to track down and meet in the park, those Disney snacks you want to try and find out how delicious they are. Make a list of all the things you'd like to achieve next time you're visiting Disneyland Paris. This will help to kind of focus the mind on the future and on Disney adventures and it also means that when you next hit the ground running you are ready, you know which rides you want to go on, you know which snacks you want to buy. So I would suggest yeah, putting together like a bucket list, a wish list, and hopefully it'll give you a chance to think about some future Disney memories you're yet to create. Now something else to remember and perhaps take comfort in is that we are all in this together. None of us can dash off to a Disney park at the moment. We're all kind of living through this on a day-to-day -day basis, getting used to the new way of life, and we're living through it together at the same time and that's something to really keep in mind. Now we have a really friendly Disney community, it's very welcoming, it's very inclusive, so far everything I've experienced has been positive and now is the perfect time to get involved. So this could be across any social media, maybe Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you are comfortable with. But maybe now is the time to kind of dip your toe in the water because everyone is sharing photos, sharing memories, really keeping that magic going. So this could be a really nice time to kind of look into that. Something I really enjoy doing each day with my Disney mug, of course, different Disney mug each day, is actually just sitting, taking a moment or five and scrolling Instagram, scrolling Facebook, because it really makes me happy to see people reliving those happy Disney memories and seeing things in the parks that maybe I'd like to try next time that you know rides I haven't had to go on characters I haven't met yet that kind of thing so yes that's what I'd say is just kind of reach out a little bit get involved with the Disney community because we're all in this together and hopefully as I said we'll all be dashing down Main Street before we know it but for now take this time to kind of share photos share experiences share memories and get involved keep that magic going so there we go I think that just about wraps up my hints and tips on how to add some Disney magic to your day-to-day -day routine now what I'd love to know please in the comments below is if you've got any suggestions to add a smattering of pixie dust to the daily routine if so please do do pop them in the comments below because I really love it when people share ideas and suggestions because ultimately we are all in this together our Disney community is a wonderful thing so yes please do share any ideas below but until next time if you've enjoyed this video which I hope you have please do leave me a make it pink make it blue rose gold thumbs up share comment subscribe all those wonderful things stay safe and I'll see you real soon take care